Okay, in this week's episode of Love Sub, we're gonna take a break from our normal travel videos to talk about how to replace a late model Airstream window. Right before we left on our fall trip, our lawn service accidentally put a rock through our rear window, which looks like this. And we're gonna show you our temporary patch, our temporary solution, and then our permanent fix and how easy it is to replace an Airstream window. So stay tuned to see how we do this. So we're taking this video and we are going to be replacing this window, unfortunately, the lawn service that we employ, they're very good, but they had an accident with the Weedy Whacker and sent a rock through our back window. So we have to get a new window. We're gonna probably work through their insurance and stuff. Fortunately, as we said, it didn't hit the aluminum, it hit the window. So if I had to replace one thing, I would rather be placing the window. We are taping up plastic. Our poor little window. Trying to get a watertight seal here so that we don't get any Leakage. environmental eat ingress. This is just a temporary measure. Hopefully we'll get a new window pretty quick. So what type of tape are we using here? Painter's tape. Hopefully this will... Hold it without damaging the aluminum. Well, it won't damage the aluminum. Worst case, we'll have to put some silicon or something to get some uh, adhesive off and then re-waldernize it. But should do okay. Hopefully the window will come fairly quickly. We should be able to do the install ourselves. Yes. Our window, which was supposed to come by today, didn't. It did not. So, I bought some Lexan. We're gonna make a template. We'll put a temporary window over this so that we can go to our rally tomorrow. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. See what it looks like. All right. So as you can see, our template looks like it's a pretty good fit. We left yeah. a little bit of room around the edge so that the inflexible uh, Lexan. Lexan would slide in, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. And we're just gonna. Once it's cut out, we're going to uh, put some marks where the hardware goes and attach it that way. Yep. So as you can see, he's tracing our template onto, what'd you call that, plexiglass? This is Lexan. Lexan. Using a Sharpie marky, marker, sharper marker, sharper marker. Um, and he'll cut inside the line of the marker to ensure a proper fit. You can see that the jigsaw is doing pretty well and note the hand protection and the eye protection. Very important. So what kind of clamp is that? It looks kind of... My Irwin Quip Grip. This is the greatest clamp of all time. So it looks like it's doing a good job. It is. So we're almost done with the cutting part and he may go around the edges. It's a little a couple of rough edges for the Dremel, but I think we're doing pretty good. Here we are doing a test fit, and it looks like it'll fit. I think that's close enough for government work, as they say. Yeah. That so, works. All right. Sweet. Next step is to mark those screw holes. So it looks like you're fitting the completed window with the hardware on it. Yep, it's kind of uh, a funky way of getting it. Whoa, getting it on. It looks like it might work though. I think we reversed. Yeah, we put these on upside down. Yep. So they fit, so no big deal. Yeah, so we're gonna fix that and I think we will be almost done with our temporary fix. Yep. It's looking good. There it is. Yeah, it'll work. One crappy cut corner, but it'll work. Yep. I'm amazed. I think that's awesome. All right. Ready to go. 
The temporary patch allowed us to leave for our fall trip, which was all over New England. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to check out that series in the coming weeks, included this awesome lobster boil. We're back from our summer trip, and of course, as things happen, sitting on our doorstep was our um, window from Airstream that we had drop shipped. Uh, we have to order it from a dealer, but they were able to drop ship it to our house. But it came a little too late for our trip. Right, which is why we had to do the temporary patch. And I definitely encourage everybody to download the parts manual for your particular RV so that when something happens on the road, you can call up the service department and you can definitely have the type of part you need. For example, we ordered the one with uh, no hardware. Right. And I expected just a piece of glass. With holes. Yep. And as you can see here, it comes with most of the hardware, I guess. That's, this is the hardware. Right. So it's just really the uh, arms to open and close the window. Everything else is included, so that should make the installation super easy. Yes. All right. We're going to put this new window in. As, it, as you can see, it just kind of hangs right from the frame of the window. So there's really no... Uh, bolting of this in with a hinge or something this thing just kind of hangs there so it's, it's got all cool. the hardware attached so yep. it makes life easy yep uh this stuff goes on the inside obviously so we're gonna try and put this puppy in and again it's it's kind of like you just got to kind of get it right i think you're missing the uh kidding me and see it's it's not really super tight but that's in there. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put the uh, arms on so that we can raise and lower it. And that's all we have to do. That's it. And it'll complete our insulation except for getting new stickers. Yes. As you can see, we have one of the arms put in, and to do that, we had to take the plastic piece that holds the handle off. And so Rich is gonna show you how he feeds that through the little slot. Yeah, the orientation is right. You gotta get it just and right. So you can see the, the, the fitting right there with my fingers, and he's just gonna then, it's, it's right and uh, then you just have to lower the window down to... Uh, Is it in? Yeah, it's in. Okay. Um, you just need to lower the window down so that you can uh, screw that in at the top there. I'll bring it into the second notch. Bring it up to the second, yep, there you go. And he's just gonna take the screwdriver and screw the other one in. There you have it our installation is complete and we have our brand new window the only minor glitch in the installation was that the hinge on the new window is just that much smaller than the hinge on the old window and that could allow it to move a little bit back and forth like that but that should be fine if we make sure it's locked while we travel and we'll just keep an eye on it yeah which we always do in worst case scenario we can put the old hinge back on but i don't think that's going to be a problem so how much did all this cost well we ordered from colonial airstream had it sent from the airstream factory yep and it costs $323.77 and $55 in freight shipping. Yeah, but they packaged it awesomely from Airstream, so yes. good job there. Yes, and the uh, plexiglass temporary placement cost $40.23 with tax from Home Depot. Yeah, and my labor was free, so that was pretty cool. Um, but definitely, if you enjoy videos like this, give us a big thumbs up. Yep, and we'll do more of them. Check out our travel series. We just had our El Paso series that we uploaded. We'll be doing our fall trip yep. here in the coming weeks. But definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed with the button below. And comment below if you had something that you fixed on your Airstream because we'd love to hear from you. Yep, and we come out with RV and Airstream related content every Tuesday. So be sure to check us out next week for when we return to our travel series. Yes, thank you for watching.